is a tenant whose behavior was so concerning it sparked previous 911 calls is now charged with murdering her landlord. Suspect is behind bars for allegedly dismembering the body of a woman. Family and community members described as generous and kind. WGN's Jewel Hillary live from Chicago Police Department headquarters tonight with the latest. Jewel. Hi, Micah and Ben. Police have arrested 36-year-old Sandra Kalalu in connection to the murder of 69-year-old Francis Walker. Now, while there are still a lot of questions in this investigation, authorities believe that an eviction notice from Walker to Kalalu may have led to this horrific murder. Tenants inside the residence, they heard uh, a screaming at about 2.30 in the morning. Tonight, CPD Chief of Detectives Brendan Dinahan shedding more light on the gruesome discovery of 69-year-old Francis Walker's dismembered body found in a freezer. The detectives believe the crime actually occurred in the victim's bedroom, and then they do believe that the dismemberment took place on the first floor of that residence. After hearing screams early Monday morning and not getting in touch with Walker, residents who live in the West Rogers Park boarding house that Walker owned and lived in called police. They feared that 36 year old tenant Sandra Kalalu, who they have called police on for other matters, hurt Walker. It appears that some of those calls were related to these tenants uh, being afraid of this one tenant. Kalalu, who was using her right to remain silent, has been charged with first degree murder and concealment of a homicide. Detectives believe she used large butcher knives to kill Walker, a beloved member of the Queen of Apostles Parish in Lincoln Square. Her only sister, Benita, in Wisconsin, was trying to get hold of her for two days and did not get any answer. Both the phones were not answered, so she was suspecting that something is wrong. Authorities say Kalalu was being picked up by a tow truck driver when they arrived at the boarding house Monday night to investigate. The driver took Kalalu to Foster Beach, where she allegedly placed a large bag in a garbage can. Due to the communication between the tow truck driver and the tenants, officers were able to get to that scene immediately and place the defendant in custody for pulling a knife on the tow truck driver. Now, authorities say that Walker and Kalalu lived on the same floor in the boarding house. They also say that tenants in this boarding house did not have free range throughout the residence, which could possibly explain how the alleged suspect was able to commit this crime without other tenants seeing it happen. For now, reporting live from CPD headquarters, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News. Thank you, Jewel.